we're here in Las Vegas at CES 2015 for the first official press event, CES Unveiled. Griffin was one of the larger, more established companies at Unveiled and was showing off its Griffin 20 digital amplifier. The amp connects via Bluetooth for wireless streaming from a phone, tablet or computer, or you can connect via a digital optical cable, ideal for a TV or console. The amp has standard speaker connections and a subwoofer out should you want a 2.1 setup. It's on sale now for $150 in the US. You might have to wait a little longer for the Neo headphones from 3D Sound Labs which are set to go on Kickstarter later this month, ahead, hopefully, of an official release. They claim to be the world's first smart 3D audio headphones, which use motion sensors to bring a Dolby Atmos-style cinema experience to your ears. US-based startup Zetterly were showing their Avi smart speaker, which essentially embeds a fully-featured Android tablet inside a wireless speaker. The Android 5.0 interface brings access to streaming music and movie apps, from Spotify to YouTube, all of which is delivered through the speakers. The Zetterly AVI speaker is another Kickstarter project and live for pledges now. Parrot certainly falls into the more established end of the market for CES Unveiled and the company's busy stand was showing off a host of varied new products. The Zix Sport might just be the smartest sports headphones on the market, working with a companion app to measure your heart rate, running style and more. The Parrot RNB6, meanwhile, can function as a standalone in-car system, but it's also one of the first head units to work with both Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. These bring a suite of apps plus voice control, streaming music playback and much more. Marshall Headphones, meanwhile, has announced its second generation Major 2 earphones, with upgrades to the build, design and sound quality. Harking back to the iconic Marshall amps, the new cans claim better sound, a more flexible, portable design, and now have an integrated mic and remote control. The Cloud Snap headphones aim to solve a common problem for fitness headphones, the fact that they don't stay in your ears. These buds have a neat adjustable loop on the cable that can be sized to fit within your outer ear, in theory keeping them in place. There's also a reflective cable and a neat cable system to keep everything tidy. What's more, they're going on sale for just $30. Seiki is best known for its budget 4K TVs, but here we saw its first Freeview Connect televisions, due on sale in the UK later this year. These will bring a new look EPG that offers live and on-demand Freeview TV, all delivered over an internet connection. Using the company's own Muse TV smart interface, they'll also have access to streaming video apps such as Netflix and YouTube. Expect to see screen sizes from 40 to 65 inches and there's talk of a 4K version later in the year. Supertooth aimed to bring multi-room music on a budget, showing as they were a wireless system that can send tunes to multiple rooms. Connect your phone or tablet via Bluetooth and the system creates an RF network to spread the sound from speaker to speaker. You can control the speakers using your phone or tablet or use the buttons on the units themselves. Supertooth hopes to offer a three-speaker system for just £200. We'll be covering all the news from the main CES 2015 show floor over the coming days, featuring all the key new products from the biggest manufacturers and the specialist audio companies. Head to whathifi.com for all the news.